What is a theme? A theme is something that you can relate to a box of Legos, right? We all know what box of Legos is. It's the fancy little box. We're like, cool, that castle looks awesome. I want to build that. And it's a box full of all the pieces to put together and put that. A theme is a template and you can think of it as a box of Legos. You're buying the box of Legos that you get to use and build and you may be one of those very skilled Lego builders where you are going to build that exact castle or maybe you want to go with your own little design and rearrange that theme, that template, right? So you'll be able to do that. Now there's two different kinds of themes in the sense of price-wise. There's the free themes and then there's the premium themes. Now of course we all want free because free is great then it's less money out of our hands, right? However, the downside with free in this case can mean can mean that you're not going to get the support that you want or that you need. Um, that's why a lot of people go with a premium theme, which means you're paying for it. Free themes are limited not only in support and not having it in most cases, but also you're limited in what you can edit or customize or change. So that's why you'll see the benefit of getting a premium theme will typically come with support as well as allow you to customize, change, make whatever you want with the theme. So that's the big difference between those two, between freemium and, uh, I mean, free and a um, premium. You want to make sure that, especially if it's like a WordPress one, you want to make sure that you look at reviews see if it's an elite author, and also take a look at the comments and when it was last updated, because those are all important things that you want to know. Uh, if, if you're not familiar, my website at truckstillcreative.com is built using the Divi theme. It's one that I use and recommend. I am an affiliate for them, and you'll see that over on the website. The reason I go with that is because it's easy for me to use. I don't have to know code, even though I, do, I know some. I don't have to know it. And it's a lot of drag and drop and moving it around, which is awesome because I have the vision and I just need the blocks to be able to piece everything together. I don't want to worry about the whole coding and, you know, trying to create something that I already have an option to do right here in this theme. So that, that's the reason why you would want to go with premium themes. Just to quickly recap, because like I said, these are quick and short. Basically, a theme is a template. It, you can look at it as a box of Legos. It allows you to have all the pieces in order to create whatever you want, but depending on which route you go, free or premium, will determine how far you can create, how, how much you can expand on your creativity. And it will also um, tell whether or not you'll have support or not. And so make sure you're checking out those reviews, check out when it was last updated, and ask around. That's the best thing, is utilize your resources, friends, family, Periscope, Facebook, whatever you can, utilize it and ask and see what people are using and what they recommend. And be sure to weigh your options. Because again, what works for me may not work for you. And what works for you know your, your buddy down the street may not work for you, but it works for them. So keep that in mind. And everyone's budget's different and everyone's starting points are different too. So just keep that in mind, you know. Um, and if you need anything else, you know where to find me at truxelcreative.com is where it's at.